2023 was a huge year for advertising with brands jumping on the Taylor Swift effect, a rise in women's sports and the box office boom of Barbenheimer. Joining us now, Kevin Krim, EDO president and CEO. It's good to see you. We say it was a big year. It was a big year in certain park pockets, but in much of the broad advertising landscape, I mean, especially for the big media companies, it really stunk. Right. This was a year of of streaming driving a huge amount of change in the advertising marketplace for TV. Uh, you had watershed moments like, like Google and YouTube taking over the Sunday ticket franchise uh, uh, for the NFL, and that drives a huge shift in advertising dollars. But ad dollars were up overall uh, pretty, pretty well in the advertising market. It's interesting sure. to watch the streaming platforms. Like if you look at Amazon with Freevee, which is now ads everywhere, right? I, so, so what am I paying? all of this money for Prime for if I'm going to get ad-supported television anyway, or, or the Apple TV. What, what's happening with the effectiveness of ads in the streaming platform? It's an important question. Uh, advertising uh, is all about supporting the consumption of great content. And this was the year where the ad-supported tiers had their big kind of comeback. And this is a business model that's worked for television for decades. It finally came to streaming in a real way. And, and the thing about effectiveness on, on uh, streaming that we saw, saw at EDO, where we're measuring the consumer response, these are behaviors like searches, web visits, app usage in the minutes following an ad uh, exposure. And uh, these are the predictive behaviors that, that marketers are trying to drive uh, from consumers. We see that they're higher, there's a higher response rate, as we call it, uh, in streaming than it is in traditional advertising. And there's two real reasons for that. One is you have a more immersive environment, there's less ability to change channels, and you've got higher targeting of the ads to the consumer. So those two effects come together for a higher response rate. And we see that in things like Thursday Night Football on Amazon Prime, where we saw a much higher response rate than when that Thursday Night Football franchise was on traditional linear television. Interesting. I understand that this week in particular could potentially be more effective for advertising for retailers than even the week following Black Friday. That's right. It's a, it's a surprising effect that we see in our data. But when we look back at many years of holiday season advertising, we, this is the start of the most effective week of advertising for retailers of the entire holiday season, including before Halloween, which is I think too early to be starting, but that's when for, it starts. For certain products or, or across the board? Across most retail categories we see. Um, in, in apparel, for example, we see a 24% higher response rate this week, the week after Christmas, than any week of, uh, of the holiday season. Is that just a, a matter of discounting and inventory and trying to kind of clear things out before, you know, in the last couple years, couple days of, of the year? Again, what we're seeing is the consumer response. And the consumer has been habituated to great deals during this week. This is a shopping week. A lot of people have the week off as well. And uh, frankly, I think the smart, savvy advertisers are using this week really effectively. So you're getting good ads as well um, uh, to the consumer. Kevin, I just want to go back to something. You said there's a higher response rate in the Thursday night football compared to broadcast television. A rate is a ratio. Yes. Are your numbers the same? Yes, yeah, so we're I, using the same measurement. No, so but we're I mean, are you getting as many viewers in that space? You're, so the, we're, we're using the viewers as the normalization right there of the, okay. of the right. sort of denominator of the equation, of the ratio. And yes, um, we're adjusting for that. But what you're seeing is from Nielsen uh, and from EDO is that sports attract a larger audience and it's a more engaged audience. And so that's why sports is such a major factor in, in ad-supported streaming. Um, the audiences can be higher or lower. A lot of that's about the matchups and about the competitiveness right. of the games. Right. Um, but overall, you're seeing strong audiences going to uh, streaming when it's live on, uh, when it's sports when it's live on If streaming. it's so effective, <coughs> are these advertisers leaving legacy media for good then? I mean, are we going to see an ad environment turnaround in 2024, depending on the economy, or is the model changed? The advertisers are following the, the, the audience, the viewers, their consumers. Uh, but what you're seeing is a pricing change where pr advertisers are paying a big premium for streaming advertising. So linear advertising is a relatively good value and good deal. And so you're going to see the right equilibrium reached between those two media. Um, and you're, you're frankly in a decent place already, but it's about where the audience is going.